On this episode of Sloan's Wilderness Expeditions, we find ourselves in the Two Medicine area of Glacier National Park, hiking up what would be our most strenuous hike of the year so far. Come along with us as we hike up to Scenic Point. Hey, folks, expeditionists, we're at Glacier National Park. You know, there are a lot of scenic points here in Glacier, but today we're hiking to the scenic point in the Two Medicine area. The trailhead for Scenic Point is located about a half mile west of Two Medicine Lake, just a few miles north of the town of East Glacier, Montana. The Two Medicine area is an extremely popular hiking destination, and we were about to learn why. We would be hiking on the Mount Henry Trail which is also a segment of the Continental Divide Trail. The round trip hike to Scenic Point and back is just shy of eight miles with a nearly 2,400 foot elevation gain. There's a little side trail off of the Scenic Point Trail that leads to a waterfall, Epistokey Falls. Forgive me if I mispronounce that. We're going to check it out while we're here. We're now above the waterfall. While enjoying the views of the waterfall, a mama bighorn sheep and her lamb snuck up behind us, possibly the cutest wildlife encounter we've ever had. We've got mountain goats on the trail. Yeah, you heard that right. I did indeed misidentify the bighorn sheep as mountain goats. I think their size and shape of the horns threw me off. And honestly, I didn't even realize my mistake until much later when I was looking through my pictures. Half the reason we chose this trail was for the potential of uh, some wildlife. And uh, well, we already got it, that was quick. Love it. This trail actually owes its existence to the Great Northern Railway. In 1913, they contracted to have the Mount Henry Trail built to join their two properties, the Glacier Park Lodge in East Glacier and their chalets in Two Medicine. The full trail is just over 10 miles long one way and mostly still exists as it was originally built 110 years ago. Here we enter what is known as a ghost forest, an area of dead white bark pines the result of white pine blister rust, a fungal disease that was accidentally introduced from Europe in the early 1900s. Nearly half of the original white bark pine population in Glacier is already dead, and it's estimated that 75% of the remaining trees are already infected with the disease as well. Look at that view. We're down there, a tiny little spot. That's a car trailhead. That's how far we've climbed so far. Yeah, this view doesn't suck. Well, we're a little 
little over three miles, a little over 2,000 foot elevation gain, and feeling every bit of it. Our calves are burning. Um, part of that's just the fact that we've hiked something like 18 miles over the last couple of days here in these mountains. And uh, also just the fact that nothing we do in Indiana can prepare us for this kind of terrain and elevation change. But you know what? Nothing in Indiana can also prepare us for the kind of views we're seeing here. Love that part. As we trekked across the alpine tundra, the wind really picked up, but our destination was in sight. Scenic point dead ahead. The stark contrast across the landscape opening up to us was amazing. To the east were the Great Plains of Montana, and to the west, the massive peaks of the Rocky Mountains. Peaks of the two medicine area, the lakes, and out there are the plains of Montana. We did it. What can I say, we are easily amused, and seeing this marmot hanging on the edge of Scenic Point was quite amusing. Well, we made it. We made it up to Scenic Point. Feels great to be up here with the views. They're just outstanding. Absolutely amazing up here. Just gorgeous scenery. And such a contrast from those huge peaks to the plains on the other side. We took in the views, took a lot of pictures, and then rested in the rocks just out of the wind. This is the kind of experience where you finally put down the cameras, put away the phones, and just soak up the natural beauty. windy up top. Took a little break, kind of sheltered from the wind, and uh, almost took a nap there, except the ants started crawling on me. <laughs> so now we're heading back. Reaching Scenic Point was only half the journey. Now we had to make our way back down. I often say that the best views on mountain hikes open up to you on the return trip, and this was no exception. Simply breathtaking. was our hike here at Scenic Point in the Two Medicine area here at Glacier. Amazing hike, about four miles one way, eight mile round trip hike with about 2,400 foot elevation gain, and I am feeling it. But wow, was it worth it. Catfish, what was some of the highlights for you? The scenery was awesome. We also got to see like a mountain goat muffin baby, which we've seen mountain goats before, but not like the babies. We also noticed lots of butterflies on the trail, especially like in the places without tree cover. Yeah, it was a pretty cool uh, adventure, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Always love going up and uh, hitting up new places. And of course, this is our third hike here in Glacier, but it's the first one of us actually climbing a mountain. How do you not go to a uh, mountainous national park without climbing a mountain, huh? Yeah. All right, but we have still got more to do here. So until then, peace, peace out. out.